Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Hey, are you ready for this year's all mineral sunscreen testing video? Well, I sure am. This little baby has been in the works for, oh gosh, probably at least six months now. I have tested 16 different all mineral sunscreens for you guys this year because a lot of the mineral sunscreens can be heavy, they can feel greasy, they can leave a white cast on your skin. So I'm looking for ones that are wearable on their own and I'm also looking for something that's wearable under makeup. Sunscreen is our number one anti-aging tool for preventing wrinkles. It also prevents skin cancer. So for this video, the sunscreens that I test only have two active sunscreen ingredients because there are only two that qualify as mineral sunscreens. Those are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. You'll notice when I'm applying the sunscreen that I use a lot of sunscreen, okay? And you're gonna be looking at that going, oh my God, why are you applying so much? And there is actually a reason, believe it or not. The reason is the way that sunscreens are tested to get their SPF number is by using a certain amount. And if you don't use the same amount that they used in the testing, then you're not going to get the same SPF coverage. So just to show you an example, if you think you're getting an SPF 30 out of this lovely sunscreen and you're putting on one pump, which is probably the amount that the average person uses, you've just reduced that SPF 30 down to an SPF 7.5 because you're using a quarter as much as you should use for your face. This is also the reason that I don't recommend that you use your makeup as sunscreen either because who's going to put on a quarter teaspoon of makeup? That's right, you heard me right. A quarter teaspoon of sunscreen is what you need to cover your face and your neck. So let's get started in with the worst of the bunch. We will work our way up to the best of the best so I'm just going to run through the first five really quickly because they were so not pretty that you couldn't even like cover up the badness with makeup. The first one is Pacifica Mineral Face Shade Coconut Probiotic SPF 30. This is $13 for 1.7 ounces and why would you want to pay any amount of money to look like this? It balled up and pilled and there were these big things hanging off my face. Besides the white cast, it was absolutely no good. Next up is Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protection Lotion 50 plus for sensitive skin and children. This is $42 for 3.3 ounces. This has 9.1% titanium dioxide, 19.3% zinc oxide, is water resistant for 80 minutes, and is probably a great sunscreen to use on your baby, but is not a great sunscreen to use if you're a grown up and you don't want to look like Casper the Ghost. Next up is Rejuvel All-in-One Sunscreen and Moisturizer. This is an SPF 45. It retails for $28.95 for four ounces. Ounces. It's 12% micronized zinc and it is water resistant to 40 minutes and it's reef safe. It went on so beautifully. I thought it was going to be a real winner until the shine wouldn't go away. I just couldn't see wearing it unless I was going snorkeling. Next is Biosance Squalane and Mineral SPF 45. This retails for $39 for 1.69 ounces. It's got 4.069% titanium dioxide and 7% zinc oxide. It also leaves a white cast after dry down and is not good around the hairline. It causes little balls and pills to happen anywhere that it gets near your hair or your eyebrows. All right, the next two are ones that don't look that bad on their own, but they just felt so greasy and so tacky all day that I just could not stand the feel of them. First up is Juice Beauty SPF 30 Oil-Free Moisturizer. This retails for $30 for two ounces. It's 20% zinc oxide, but not water resistant. It's also organic, vegan, and cruelty-free. This is a very thick cream with a strong smell, kind of smells like lemongrass, and a slight tint. It takes a while to rub in, it feels sticky, and it gives a slightly white cast, and stays feeling tacky and greasy. Also in that category is the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense SPF 30. This retails for $36 for two ounces. This one is 20% zinc oxide. It is not water resistant. And Drunk Elephant is, of course, cruelty-free. The tint will be too dark for anyone with light or light to medium skin. Unfortunately, this one stays feeling tacky and greasy, and it has a very, very shiny finish. All right, this next group are the ones that were really wearable 
incredible on their own, but didn't perform so well under makeup. So if you're someone who doesn't wear any kind of foundation, you could really love one of these. First up is Murad City Skin Age Defense SPF 50 PA++++. $65 for 1.7 ounces. I love one with a PA rating, especially one with a 4 plus PA rating. That means that it has the highest UVA protection. It is 2% titanium dioxide and 10% zinc oxide. This one protects against pollution, blue light from devices, and infrared radiation. This one is a pale, slightly peach colored tinted liquid that glides over the skin and rubs in easily, leaving no white cast and no problems at the hairline. Liquid makeup settles into wrinkles after five to 10 minutes and cracks on the surface. It decreases the wear time of makeup. So this one just not good under makeup, but could be really good on its own, especially if you are a city dweller who spends a lot of time on your devices. Next is My Shell Sun Shield Liquid Tint SPF 50 in the shade Nude. This comes in two different shades. This retails for $22.50 for one ounce. It's 16.1% zinc oxide. It is not water resistant. It is vegan, cruelty free, and reef safe. This is a runny tinted liquid that glides over the skin, absorbs quickly, and feels light as air and not sticky or greasy at all. There are no problems at the hairline. It leaves a soft satin finish that is very very wearable on its own. Makeup looks nice from a distance, but it skipped over pores and settled into wrinkles right away. It decreased wear time of the makeup by a couple of hours and got shiny later in the day, and it felt a tiny bit drying. All right, this is the most expensive one of the bunch. This is from Paracone MD from the Preempt series. This is their daily brightening moisturizer. It is $75 for two ounces. This one contains 11.4% zinc oxide and it's not water resistant. This is a slightly tinted pinkish lotion that spreads easily and absorbs right in. It's invisible on the skin, leaving no shine, no white cast, and no greasy feel. It's very, very wearable on its own. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, the makeup goes on sheerer than normal and doesn't cover pores very well, but from a distance it looks okay. It settles into wrinkles. All right, this next one is Ulta Sun Protection SPF 30. It retails for $10.99 for two ounces. It's 3% titanium dioxide, 3% zinc oxide. It is water resistant to 80 minutes. This is a fluffy tinted cream with a whip texture. It smells powdery and spreads easily and it absorbs really quickly. It was not shiny. The tint doesn't really tint your skin so much as it just hides any white casts that this sunscreen would give. So it is very wearable on its own. After 20 minutes of dry down, I was in love with this. I was like, wow, this is so matte and totally dry and set feeling and pore smoothing. Unfortunately, then I put makeup on over it. It makes the foundation crack and settle and accentuated every wrinkle and every pore on my face. Okay, so let's move on. Next is La Roche-Posay Anthelios 50 Mineral SPF 50. This one retails for $33.50 for 1.7 ounces. It's 6% titanium dioxide, 5% zinc oxide, and is water resistant to 40 minutes. This is a runny white liquid that spreads easily but doesn't blend 100% seamlessly. It leaves a little bit of a chalky white patchy look to the skin, but after 20 minutes it feels dry and set and lightweight and not greasy at all. When first applied the makeup looked really smooth and beautiful over this. It had very minimal settling into wrinkles. Throughout the day the makeup did wear off a little more quickly and become a little more patchy later on in the day. Next we have Dr. Dennis Gross Dark Spot Sun Defense SPF 50. This is $42 for 1.7 ounces. It is 4.9% titanium dioxide, 4.42% zinc oxide. It's not water resistant. This is a thick white cream with no scent that feels like a creamy lotion. It goes on kind of violet slash white, but normalizes quickly. It spreads easily and covers evenly with no problems around the hairline. It does feel a little bit sticky, 
but not greasy, and it has kind of a shiny finish. After 20 minutes, it was still a little bit shiny and slightly white, so it's not really wearable on its own for most skin tones. Makeup goes on it sheerer than normal to start and did cause a little bit of settling into wrinkles, but from a distance, it looked good and it lasted well throughout the day. But we're not looking for a sunscreen that makes our makeup look just okay. We're looking for a sunscreen that makes our makeup look really good. And so the top two are the ones that can be worn on their own and also wore the best underneath makeup. All right, the number two sunscreen for this year's testing, but not number two overall, if I was to put it in a group with those guys, is the Etude House Sun Prize SPF 50 PA++. This one retails for $13.50 for 1.85 ounces. It contains titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, but I have no idea how much. This is a Korean sunscreen where the labeling requirements don't require them to put the percentage of the active ingredient on the label and SD alcohol is the fourth ingredient. So this one I have a little trouble with because I'm not big on SD alcohol in skincare products and I do consider sunscreen part of your skincare, especially where you're going to be using it every day and potentially repeatedly throughout the day. I would not recommend this really for people with um, drier skin. This is a white runny liquid. It has a very strong citrus scent. It glides over the skin, spreading easily and absorbing quickly. It leaves a slight pinkish whitish cast and it causes some pilling around the eyes and the hairline. After 20 minutes, the white cast is diminished and it has a soft satin finish that's wearable on its own. Under makeup, it looks very good. Foundation goes on like it normally does with minimal creasing in wrinkles. After five hours, the makeup still looked good with no sliding around or wearing off. And at the 10 hour check-in, it looked good from a distance and also up close. So it was very, very good under makeup. All right, we have made it to the number one sunscreen for this year, and that is the Make Prem UV Defense Me Blu-ray Sun Cream SPF 50 Plus PA++++. This retails for $21 for 2.36 ounces. Being a Korean brand, we don't know how much titanium dioxide or zinc oxide is in there, but I did contact the seller on Amazon, and they said that the combined amount was about 15%. So if they're equal, it's about 7% of each let's say. It does screen infrared light and it reduces heat in the skin. This is a white lotion that spreads evenly over the skin. It has a light citrus scent. There are no issues at the hairline. It absorbs quickly and it disappears into the skin leaving no white cast and it has a soft satin finish. After 20 minutes of dry down it feels dry and set and it's very wearable on its own. Foundation applies really nicely over this sunscreen. It doesn't settle into pores and it doesn't cause settling into wrinkles. At five hours, the makeup was still wearing well. It wasn't worn off and it still wasn't settled into wrinkles. It feels lightweight and comfortable to wear all day. At the 10 hour check-in, the makeup still looked good. It wasn't very worn off and it didn't feel drying. All right, so Make Prem, hands down the winner this year. Absolutely love it and nothing else really came close. But how does it compare to the winners from the last couple of years? So two of those have become like my holy grails, my absolute favorites. The first one that I use just about on a daily basis is the Australian Gold Botanical Sunscreen Tinted Face SPF 50. The Australian Gold is a thicker cream. It can be a little bit drying. It has a soft satin finish. It's not greasy feeling. It sets up to be nice and dry. The tint definitely won't work on people with really dark skin or really light skin. I love how it looks under makeup. It has a smoothing effect for people with more textured skin and it can be worn to the beach because it's 80 minutes water resistant. And then my other favorite, which I discovered two years ago in my testing, this is the Hydropeptide Solar Defense SPF 50. This one is really expensive and so what I like to do a lot is to mix these half and half so then it makes this one a little bit less drying. But what I love about this one is it's great for mature skin because it does contain a lot of antioxidants. This one is also much more moisturizing. Um, this one is very smoothing to the skin too. So if you do have texture issues, this one acts like a smoothing primer underneath your makeup. So these two are very smoothing. The Make Prem, I don't feel like it has that smoothing 
kind of quality to it because it does have a little bit more of a luminous finish. So if you're someone who likes a luminous finish or if you have drier skin, this could be great for you. So I hope this video series has helped you to discover a sunscreen that you absolutely love and can use every day, no matter what your skin type or whether you're a makeup wearer or not, man, woman, child, it doesn't matter. Please wear sunscreen every single day and protect yourself from the damaging rays of the sun. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you for your time and really appreciate your watching. So have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.